Good afternoon, I am Mr. H. Thank you for joining me for this specific style of question which we have to learn a differential equation application with regards to mixing problems. Mixing problems can be concentrating a solution or it can be diluting a solution. In this video we're looking at a concentration problem. In another video we look at a dilution problem. But these will all follow a similar format and it's imperative that we learn it. The question is this, we have a certain 100 liter tank of pure water which has 0.1 kilograms per liter of brine solution of salt flowing in we have an outlet from that tank which allows that mixed solution to flow out at a rate of 10 liters per minute the amount flowing in is also 10 liters per minute we have to find the amount of salt in the tank after 10 minutes and after infinity minutes what does all of this mean Think about everything like this. You have a, a tank over here which you know is 100 liters of pure water. Pure water means there's no salt in it and everything here is with regards to kilograms. There's zero kilograms of salt initially. You have a pipe flowing in and this pipe is bringing in brine. It's 0.1 kilograms per liter and it has a flow rate of 10 liters per minute. This also tank after the mixing has a flow out so you're flowing out a certain amount. We don't know how much this is but it's flowing out exactly the same rate as you're flowing in. So the volume here of 100 liters never changes. It just mixes in and over time this will become concentrated salt solution and you'll push it out and you'll use it for something. We have to evaluate how much salt will be in this tank. Initially there's zero, but how much will there be in after 10 minutes, then after infinity minutes, and we will look at all of that. The way you wanna handle these type of problems is Consider everything like this. Change in concentration or change in time is equal to something flowing in, rate in, minus something flowing out from your tank. You have two variables, concentration and time. Initially, you're looking at everything with regards to concentration, but after you've done your computations, you'll develop a function with regards to time, concentration with respect to time. Also, very quickly from the beginning of the problem process, you should always pick out what your initial conditions are. Initially, with regards to time is zero minutes, we have zero kilograms of salt. And why is that? Because when you're starting out at time zero, you're here looking only at pure water, which would be zero kilograms of salt. This is something you need to be able to determine because it helps you make this transition from C to your function, your differential equation to your function. So you need to be able to pick that out. Now what we really need to do is develop our differential equation. We have the format, but we have to do our equation. We won't worry too much about units, but I'll just superficially breeze over them. Think about concentration here in the terms kilogram per liter as you see. Think about flow rate over here as liters over minute and look what happens. The liters cancel out, you have kilograms per minute. And that's what you want to look at here with regards to your rate in and rate out will be always having these units. But I won't emphasize units too much in this video because I don't want this video to get too confusing nor the student to get overwhelmed. What's our rate in? What's coming into this tank? We have something here, 0.1 in terms of the concentrated brine at a rate of 10. And what's coming out of this tank after the mixing? We have a certain concentration. We don't know what that is, but we know our variable is concentration. And you know concentration always some sort of amount divided by some sort of volume. We know the volume here is 100, and we know it's flowing out at the same rate, 10 liters per minute. Just simplify this, 0.1 times 10, you know is a one, and I'm gonna put a one over here. This 10 cancels out with this, so you get minus C over 10, and suddenly my differential equation has developed. Remember, rate in was exactly 0.1 times 10. Your rate out is exactly this unknown, divided by the volume, C over 100 times 10. I get C over 10. Now simplify this by means of a fraction you'll have change in concentration or change in time is equal to 10 minus C over 10. You're thinking here about separation of variables. You want to take all of this on the other side. You'll have 1 over 10 minus C, change in concentration or change in time is equal to 1 over 10. Now integrate this with respect to dt and look what happens. Here this cancels out and you'll be integrating it. When you're integrating this, you can do a u substitution if u is equal to 10 minus c, and then you know du is equal to minus dc, and then dc is equal to minus du, and you know all of this will come up as a 10 minus c, which will really be to the power of minus 1, but after your u substitution, you, you'll really have a u to the power of minus 1, but you can't forget that. 
The reason why I'm breezing through this is just U substitution or polynomial substitution and you know that you'll have something which will come out like this which will bring in a natural log. But just do not forget that minus sign. When you integrate this, you'll have a minus come out and you'll have a natural log. The u will be resubstituted with 10 minus c. From here, you'll have a 1 over 10 t plus c1, my constant of integration. If this is properly done, all of this in terms of the integral will lead that, will lead you to have this. Now look back over here. Concentration with respect to time, zero minutes is equal to zero kilograms of salt because initially you start with pure water this is your c variable and this right here is your time variable so you have minus natural log 10 minus 0 is equal to 0 minutes over 10 plus c1 i'm solving for the c1 c1 is equal to just minus natural log 10. all i can do now a very useful step is to bring this minus natural log 10 here in my place of constant of integration and then the equation will develop I'll have here a minus natural log 10. But now look what will happen. I'll bring in the time variable. Minus natural log 10 minus concentration with respect to time is equal to t over 10 minus natural log 10. This right here is my function for which this differential equation over here, 1 minus c over 10 is true. And now if you want, you can convert this into your exponential function and it's useful to do so because it will help you evaluate that. This is really you evaluating what happens as time approaches infinity, limit as time approaches infinity. We will also evaluate what happens at time 10 minutes, but we will do time at infinity minutes. I want to convert this into a exponential function and I will do so. I will make space over here. Remember this entire procedure has come through the separation of variables technique of solving a differential equation. I want to take the minus, I want to take the natural log on the other side. You see these two items, I want to take them onto the other side. I'll have natural log 10 minus concentration with respect to time is equal to, when you take the minus on the other side, things will flip. When you take the natural log on the other side, you'll have E come in. Natural log 10 minus T over 10. This is simplification and algebra, all of that you can do on your own. I took the minus, this thing flipped. I took the natural log, it became an exponent of an exponential base and the natural log has to disappear. And then you have 10 minus concentration with respect to time is equal to that. I can separate everything here using a property of exponents e to the natural log 10 times e to the minus t over 10. Same basis, the exponents add and you get that. Then I'll solve here for concentration with respect to time. I'll take the 10 on the other side, I'll take the minus on the other side, and I have this on the other side. What will all of this play out? Consider also this, e to the ln x is always equal to x. Therefore, e to the ln 10 is always equal to 10. From here, I'll just have a 10 come out. All of these are properties which you can remember from pre-calculus and bring them into play. This right here is equal to 10. You have 10 e to the power of minus t over 10. I took a 10 on the other side, it became a minus 10. I took the minus on the other side, I'm hitting everything with a minus. So I end up seeing 10 minus 10 e to the power of minus t over 10. This is my same equation right here in exponential form and this is a better way to look at everything because it helps you evaluate this easier than by means of that. I'll erase all of this, now we'll do our evaluation questions. So this entire, everything has boiled down into these two equations, one in terms of natural log which should be right and one in terms of exponential which should be right. Concentration of that salt at 10 minutes is this, is equal to 10 minus 10 e to the power of minus 10 over 10. Where I have t, I'm putting 10. Now this is nothing other than calculator work. You'll have 10 divided by 10 minus, you'll apply this in terms of the exponential base, you multiply it by 10. This is 3.6 coming from here, you have a minus. I'll add that to a 10, I get 6.32. Concentration at time 10 minutes is equal to 6.32 kilograms of salt. In that mixing vat where you have something flowing in and something flowing out always, after 10 minutes of this 0.1 kilogram per liter brine, at a flow rate of 10 with an exit of 10, we have now in that water mixed in 6.32 kilograms of salt. After 10 minutes, we've concentrated 6.32 kilograms of salt in terms of that water. Now, how do we do this limit? Limit as time approaches infinity, you have nothing more to do other than put infinity here in place of t. You're looking at 10 minus 10 e to the power of minus infinity over 10. e to the power of minus infinity over 10 is no different than just 
minus infinity because the over 10 is meaningless in the presence of infinity. This is no different than 10 minus 10 over e to the infinity, which is no different than 10 minus 10 over infinity. All of this zeroes out. You're left with nothing other than just 10. When you evaluate this limit at time equals infinity, this is all that remains. And what is it that it means? It means after an indefinite period of time, with the setup you have such that you have 0.1 kilogram liter of brine flowing at a rate of 10 liters per minute, starting initially with pure water and then a certain amount always exiting at the same rate, you'll always reach a maximum in terms of the concentration of that tank in terms of salt, always 10 kilograms. And that's exactly what your answer will be. At, as time approaches infinity, your entire system over here will always approach 10 kilograms of salt. And that's the maximum you can ever concentrate over here. 10 kilograms of salt. At time zero minutes, you have zero kilograms of salt because we started out with pure water. At time 10 minutes, you have 6.32 kilograms of salt. At time infinity minutes, you'll have 10 kilograms of salt and that's the maximum that can be achieved. What you're really looking at here is basically a situation such as this where you have something coming in here in terms of a function and you have a horizontal asymptote y equals 10 kilograms and your function is approaching this horizontal asymptote which represents the maximum in terms of salt that can be accumulated or concentrated with the system that you have over here. And that right there is the end of this particular concept of a mixing problem with a focus here on concentrating a solution. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.